music flows like water, sometimes calm, sometimes wild and unpredictable. Karanyi Sound's Wave Surfer is a multi-effect plugin that combines AI-powered reverb and saturation with vintage model DSP effects. It adds character and movement to your sounds. There are seven rearrangeable effect modules, two of which are AI or neural effects. This is actually the first instance of AI used in a Plugin Alliance product. There's also four master effects. Wave Surfer's modules include a compressor, phaser, delay, auto pan, neural amp, one of the AI modules, and neural reverb, the other AI module. We'll dive into how AI is being implemented in those modules later on. The master effects include a combo filter, tonal EQ, stereo imager, and stereo chorus. With all of these creative effects in one plugin, WaveSurfer is a great tool to reach for when you have a sound that feels a bit bland and you want to add some pizzazz to it, give it flavor, and make it more interesting to listen to. To demo Karani Sounds WaveSurfer, start a free Megaplan trial using the link below. This will give you access to all of Plugin Alliance's products for 30 days. I'll play some audio examples and then we'll explore WaveSurfer's features in detail. WaveSurfer's modules can be bypassed individually, and you can rearrange their order using the drag and drop bars. The glue module is a compressor that can apply three flavors of compression to your sound. The big knob in the middle controls the intensity of compression applied. Neural Amp is an overdrive effect. So where does the AI come into play? Well, Karanyi Neural is a proprietary neural model developed in-house by Karanyi Sounds, and it was trained on detailed models of classic and modern analog hardware. This includes tube preamps, tape machines, and high-end guitar pedals, allowing it to emulate various harmonic and dynamic behaviors. As a result, this leads to a realistic, non-linear analog sound. A combo filter lets you low pass or high pass sound on the way into the module. The big knob adjusts the intensity of saturation applied. And the preset selector allows you to choose different saturation models. The phaser module adds movement and texture to your sounds by using all pass filters to create notches in the frequency spectrum. The rate control adjusts the speed of the LFO's oscillation, while depth affects the intensity of the phasing effect. The big knob acts as a dry wet control.
The delay module is a tempo sync delay with various filter characteristics. Feedback adjusts the number of echoes that you hear. Tempo is automatically synced with your DAW. Turning this clockwise leads to shorter delay times, allowing you to create slapback style effects. Turning it the other way results in longer delay times. The big knob acts as a dry wet control. You can also choose from different presets that affect the tonal characteristics of the delay. The Neural Reverb module analyzes your sound when you click the Learn button. It evaluates how transient or rhythmically active the signal is. It measures where most of the energy is concentrated in the frequency spectrum and assesses the range of frequencies present within the signal. Karanyi Neural performs this classification. When the module finishes analyzing your sound, it adjusts feedback, size, damping, diffusion, modulation depth, and pre reverb settings behind the scenes. All you have to do is adjust the length of the reverb and dry wet balance using this XY pad. Everything else is taken care of for you so you get the best of both worlds. Fine tuned reverb settings and a quick workflow. AutoPan modulates the pan position of your signal. It does this by modulating the volume of the left and right channels. You can use AutoPan to create subtle to extreme stereo movement by adjusting the depth control. The tempo knob determines the rate at which the signal pans. It syncs with your DAW's tempo, allowing you to adjust the panning speed by selecting different note values. Turning the phase knob actively offsets the phase of modulation applied to the left and right channels. By automating this feature or turning it manually, you can indirectly increase or decrease the panning rate temporarily, making the panning applied sound more organic. The Filter Pulse module is a tempo-based filter modulation effect that adds rhythmic interest or smooth LFO effects to your sound. There's a 16-step sequencer that lets you choose presets or draw in your own patterns. The tempo multiplier adjusts how quickly the filter cycles through your pattern. Depth adjusts how much modulation is applied to the filter. Cutoff sets the frequency at which the filter's center frequency modulates around. With smooth and turned counterclockwise, you can clearly hear the individual steps of the sequencer. The steps are blended into a continuous LFO shape as you turn this up. The pre-post switch inserts the filter pulse module before the master effects when set to pre, and after the master effects when set to post.
The overall tone section has a low pass and high pass filter. There's also a filter that emphasizes low end or top end. The close open knob lets you narrow or widen the sound. And the WOW Chorus knob adds subtle pitch modulation for vintage WOW effect, or a more pronounced chorus effect, both of which enhance the stereo depth and movement of your sound. You also have global input and output gain controls, along with a master dry wet knob. At the top of the interface, there's plugin presets you can cycle through. If you click the name of a preset, there's a full preset menu where you can add, rename, delete, and organize presets. You also have a built-in search feature, making it easy to find presets by name. In the top right, you'll see an output level meter, and at the bottom of the UI, there's a bypass switch and UI scale feature. To demo Karani Sounds Wave Surfer, start a free Megaplan trial using the link below. This will give you access to all Plugin Alliance's products for 30 days. Give this video a like if you found it helpful, and subscribe to the Plugin Alliance YouTube channel for more tutorials like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.